Now, after downloading, let's start Hot Strings application for the very first time. The first run, run differs a bit. Uh, we will get some warnings informing about additional steps which application takes to run correctly. It doesn't matter much which version, a script version or executable version you will run. For sake of this video, I will run executable. In my file manager, which is Total Commander, I place cursor over executable and press enter. I get the first warning saying that config ini wasn't found. The default config ini has now been created in the following location. I press enter on OK button. Next, I get the warning that no languages subfolder. So now is so one now is created. I press OK. In fact, such folder is now ready. Next warning: there is no English text file in language subfolder. So the default English text file is now created. Fine. Uh, no library subfolder. Now is one is now created. Fine. Uh, libraries folder is empty. Default priority library CSV file is proposed. Do I want it to be created? I answer yes. And finally, I get welcome uh, screen as well as in a right bottom folder, uh, right bottom corner of my screen where system tray is located. I get messages informing me that application got started. On welcoming screen, among others, I see information about shortcut, which is used to call main application window. Let me untick answer to the question show introduction window after application is restarted and press OK. The very first step which is proposed after downloading the application itself is to download some libraries with definitions of hot strings which are available over internet. So let's call the main window of, by pressing again control windows and H and from libraries menu let's choose download public libraries option. I click on it. Next I get a small window informing me that public libraries and the whole list of them have been downloaded to the specified location. Would you like to upload content of libraries folder into memory? Yes, of course. I press yes. And again information about loading hot strings from libraries was displayed in the bottom right corner in SysTray. Now, on the list of hot string libraries, I see some freshly downloaded libraries. Let's choose the very first, very first of them, called abbreviations CSV. Uh, now let me change the size of the window to see better what is on the right side of the screen. Let's choose something to check if application works. So from the list, I choose AHK slash, and in the sandbox, I can test if it works. AHK, yes, it works. The same I can do in any other window. For sake of example, let's open Microsoft Word and here it works as well. Let's choose something else. A4, for example. A4 is a size of page which is now displayed in millimeters. That's all. Thank you for your attention.